Hello fashion sewers, in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at the differential feed on a serger. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. How do we identify a serger that has a differential feed? The needle plate you will find there are two feed dogs, a front and a rear. A differential feed is designed that they both work together but at slightly different speeds. On the side of your serger you'll find two dials. The first one is all to do with your stitch length and I've got a little sample here. So the closer it is, it's one and the more space you want for your stitching it's going to be four. Now for the second dial, this is what controls your differential feed for your fabrics that you're using. And these two diagrams here, this is telling you you need more stretch in your fabric. So what you will do is move your dial to perhaps two. Um, it goes from 0 0.7 to two. So it is important you actually test before you actually go ahead and do your work that you need to on your sewing project. The second one is telling you that there's too much compression and you want to release that. So it's all about turning this dial up and down and finding the correct number that will work with the fabric. Before I put my presser foot on, I just want to give you a quick demonstration how the two feed dogs work. You would align your fabric along the first feed dog and as I said before, they go at different speeds but they work together. So what will happen is that as you sew, your first one actually stretches your fabric a little bit and it's traveling it at a faster speed to the rear and the rear kind of controls it by bringing itself with the timing to make sure that you don't get the stretch that would happen if there wasn't two feed dogs. I'm now going to do a tester and get my fabric and the dials at the side of the machine have been set on 0.7 and the stitch length, it can be whatever you want it to be. For me, for this demonstration, I'm using it on four. So I get my fabric into position and then I just sew away. And this is a stretch fabric. And as you can see, it is wavy. And I want that to be flat as possible. If I just turn it on the side, you probably see it a little bit there. So I'm now going to demonstrate on a second piece of fabric, and I'm going to change my differential feed, which is the lower one, to a larger number, and I'm just going to be using two so that you can see the difference. And it should be nice and flat nice and flat now this is the benefit of having a differential feed as you can see with the first tester I did you can see the waviness that's happening to the fabric and as you do with any practice run you just need to make sure that the settings on your differential feed will give you the flatter edge here and that is what you're looking for I'm now doing a test sample on a fine woven fabric and this is an organza and my setting is still at two. So let's see what happens here. Let me turn that way there. And as you can see with the fine one, there is a lot of what you call pluckering on the edge. Now I'll get another sample and I'll change my setting the differential feed setting and that is going to be 0 0.7 and we should see the difference in how the differential feed handles the fabric. And as you can see we've got a nice beautifully finished edge. As you can see with the fine woven fabric when I had it on the higher setting, 
this is what happens all the pluckering here is what you don't want and when I got it to the correct setting and that I was happy with you get this beautifully finished edge well I hope you found that video tutorial of help now it's important to stress that if you are going to invest in a serger and you are working with different types of fabrics I would say go for a differential feed because it will help with those projects when you need to work with different weights and different fabrics if you have any comments or queries please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.